Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to this uh, Luna update and uh, today we do have on the website Crypto Potato that Terra 2.0 is live here, the exchanges to support the Luna airdrop. Now so many people might be wondering uh, where's the Terra Luna 2.0 coming in and uh, yeah it, it is actually live so Terra's team took it to Twitter today to reveal that the new chain has officially gone live and is already producing blocks. So block one of the brand new Terra blockchain with a chain ID of Phoenix one has officially been produced at 6 a.m. UTC. So basically in the blockchain there's blocks and when you mix a lot of blocks together they create a chain of blocks which is known as blockchain and uh, one block has already been produced that means that one coin has already been uh, you know like a one transaction actually has been done. It's like when you're sending money to uh, one person from one place to the other uh, place to another person you make one transaction that's just like saying one block has been produced on the blockchain the team also revealed that users currently uh, are currently able to do multiple things with their liquid luna such as taking it to preferred validators earning rewards participating in government decisions and so forth so basically there is a concept of mining and then there's a concept of validators and uh, validators uses uh, pos proof of stake and uh, that's something technical if you're really interested if you know about it then you can actually use it for validating and earning rewards and even staking it so it's also worth noting that this is an uh, this is a new blockchain and not a fork in, you, you see what is a fork basically that's actually a very computer type of word you know fork comes it's like you're merging something it's like you're having a parent child relationship it's like you have a parent something that really existed before and then from there you produce something from within like sub subcategory from a category Do you get my point here it's like you have the animal chain and then you go to the downside and then you keep splitting with one another and that's where the fork actually happens. But this is not a fork. This is entirely a different thing. Okay, it's a new blockchain, entirely a new blockchain. Like Cardano is a new blockchain, Solana is a new blockchain. But if you talk about Serum, SRM from Solana, Solana is like a something that was produced from Solana, SRM. But Terra isn't pr produced from anything, it's actually created from scratch. And with that said, one of the most pressing questions that may, uh, many people are wondering is if centralized exchanges and service providers will support the airdrop. I don't know if centralized is written here on, uh, by mistake, but it's supposed to be decentralized exchanges and service providers will support the airdrop. There are number new, numerous platforms that have already announced they will, and these include but are not limited to Huobi, Binance, Qcoin, uh, BitTrue, FTX, Bitfinex, Get.io, Bybit, Nexo, and so forth. It's worth no noting that holders will receive a portion of the air airdrop now and the rest over will be vested over a certain period of time. So what is what is expected is that if, for example, you're using Binance, you're going to get an automatic air airdrop of Terra 2.0 or Terra Luna. And then you're going to find it on your wallet place where you're actually having different coins and then it's going to appear. By default, they're going to do that. Okay, they actually do it on the back end. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to even actually have to stress about it. Okay. So that's it guys, uh, Terra has been actually been released, it's only a matter of time for the airdrop and uh, that, these are the numbers of exchanges that actually are going to come in. I just want to see um, a little bit of information, what is Luna 2.0, it's a fork of the original Luna blockchain which will see the launch of a coin named Luna. Doesn't Luna coin already exist? Yes, but the older Luna coin, which became virtually worthless earlier this month, will be renamed to Luna Classic and traded under ticker LUNC reports Bloomberg. Okay, so basically Luna is not available anymore. It's actually rebranded into a name called Luna Classic and where it ends with an a, it's going to end with a C for the classic, right? What about the airdrop? An airdrop is uh, in crypto term is when coins are given away for free, usually for promotional purposes to generate interest in the coin. Now, uh, the new Luna will airdrop to existing owners of the older Luna and to the owners of Terra USD, which lost its back to the dollar. I talked about this yesterday. You can watch the yesterday video for the details. And when is the launch? Now, according to some of the Twitter account, it, it will launch on May 28th today, okay, at 6 a.m. UTC. So you can actually convert this time to your local time if you want to look at it that way. Anything else to know after the spectacular collapse of Terra USD in the original Luna a few weeks ago, which wiped out people's life saving? Many are wondering why anyone will give this new attraction a chance. Add Mark Cuban to that list. The billionaire and avid crypto investor told Fortune he'll not be investing in the new Terra chain. When asked if he would invest, he answered simple, no. So 
I don't know, Mark Cuban is, uh, is a well-known guy, you know, and uh, he's saying that, no, I'm not investing into Terra or anything. But if this is up to you guys. This is not a financial advice. It's up to you if you want to invest in it or not. But if, even if you want to invest a pinch of salt, because I just put in $10, okay, in it. And that's it for today's uh, update. I'm going to see you in the next one. I love this.